The last part, we had learned how to make the various connections to the RAMS board. In this part, we shall be covering how to install the heat bed onto the Y carriage as well as how to install the various end stops on the printer. First of all, let's have a look at the heated bed. The heat bed is mounted on four corners using 10 mm long M3 screws and the spring for the heat bed which is provided in the kit. Since this X carriage is tapped to accept M3 screws, you simply need to put a spring, put a M3 screw from top and then simply tighten the screw in this manner. It is advisable that you use a washer between the M3 screw and the heat bed. I ran out of them so I could not show them to you here. In similar manner install these screw and spring combination on all the four corners and your heat bed should be mounted. Points to be noted the wiring end should face the Y motor. The thermistor end of the heated bed should be facing down. Thereafter you must place the glass plate in case you plan to use that and you can use simple crocodile clips to secure the glass plate in this manner. You must check the heat bed for proper installation and you must also check it for movement to see that the crocodile clips do not you must check it for movement to check to see that the crocodile clips do not get obstructed by the frame or the wire of the heat bed and the thermistor do not get stuck anywhere now we shall have a look at the installation of the various end stops first of all the x axis end stop first see the way this board has been mounted onto the end stop holder in order to install the x axis end stop keep the end stop in this orientation and you simply turn it like this and press the end stop into the two m8 rods here ensure you must ensure that the end stop is properly tucked in into the m8 rods you can adjust the position of the uh, end stop on the rods however you can simply touch it to the plastic part here the wiring should remain down later we will tell you how to tidy up this wiring now you must check manually first that the end stop switch is being pushed by the X carriage this you can check by manual by visual inspection and movement of the carriage we shall test it later once we connect the ramps to the printer now we shall see how to install the y axis end stop the y axis end stop holder looks like this and the board is mounted in this manner have a look this portion will go into the m10 rod and this portion will go into the m8 rod in order to mount this end stop first of all you must push it into the m8 rod like this and then simply turn it and let it go into the m10 rod like this you must push the end stop to the end so that it touches the nut here just ensure that the switch is facing the side wiring is facing the side you can take out the wiring from here in this manner and let it go towards the board now you must test manually that the switch is being triggered by the linear bearing of the heat bed see this yes the switch is being triggered 
now we shall have a look at the installation of the z axis and stop stop will be installed onto the side somewhere here now the z axis and stop holder looks like this there is a squarish portion on the top and round portion for the m8 rod here and the end stop is mounted in this manner the connectors come from this side in order to install this end stop you simply need to first put this round portion onto m8 rod and press it inside the square portion will automatically fit onto the frame so you simply push it like this now it is advised that you do not tighten this end stop initially this end stop we will the final position of this end stop will be decided when we will calibrate our z axis for the height so right now you just keep it a bit loose the end stop will be triggered by the lower portion of the x motor this portion so here we have finished installing the heat bed and the end stops in the subsequent parts we shall now check our printer for movement and thereafter we'll go on to calibration and first print